mereka ayuhan Nabi warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wa syahadu rahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, kemudian wa ala ali muhammad wa ala ali ibrahim the question pertanyaannya brother are you a muslim or non muslim are you a muslim are you a muslim so please go behind the queue give uh, first chance to a non muslim and the coordinator someone speaks uh, in indonesian language No, yes. doctor, he is representing his friend. He's here. Oh, his friend should come on the mic. No, he here. Where is he? I cannot see him. He is afraid. He is afraid for shooting. I would prefer that the friend come. They should be given next chance. Everyone says my friend is at home. No, we first give a chance to the non-Muslim who come on the microphone first. Let's be fair. Yeah. Sila Let's kan. give first chance to the non-Muslim directly. I don't want proxy questions. Direct. After the direct question from the non-Muslim, the over, and if time permits, then we'll give to the Muslim who deviated. Then we give to the revert, and then we give to a Muslim who wants to ask on behalf of his friend. Because when yes. I ask him a question, the non-Muslim is not in front of me. So what is the use of me answering? Yes. Correct. Correct. It is preferably that the non-Muslim himself, please be. You are safe here. Here. No one is going to harm you. You are safe to ask any question. When I am there, you can even ask any question. You can disagree with me. You can attack the Quran. No problem. I am young. I can take it. Are there any non-Muslim in the queue? Any non-Muslim would like to ask a question? If you can repeat that in Indonesian language. Yes. Right. Any non-Muslims? Uh, ada penanya non-Muslim. Doktor Zakir Naik tidak mau penanya. Orangnya bersembunyi dan tidak langsung berhadapan dengan beliau karena tidak bisa memberikan jawaban yang semestinya face to face dan kemudian apa yang ditanyakan dan apa yang harus dijawab. Karena itu kalau ada non muslimnya berada di sini silahkan tampil ke depan. Kalau ada yang diwakili tadi yang non muslim berada di sini silahkan mendatangi mikrofon. Tidak apa apa langsung bertanya kepada Dr Zakir Naik. Silakan, yang non Muslim. Is there any? Yes, we have a non Muslim sister here. Inshallah, oh. we'll come there, sister. We yes, want yes, to yes, give yes. equal chance. First sister, yes. then 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 sister. Yes. Inshallah, we'll come to you, sister. Oh, sekarang the turn of male side, right? Ada non Muslim? Non Muslim. Is there non Muslim would like to ask a question? Because no. if they don't want to come on the microphone, they can go on the YouTube and see my answer. Most of the questions answered, Alhamdulillah. Yes. Are they non-Muslim brothers? I am seeing this very common that non-Muslim sisters are coming, brothers are coming. Maybe the non-Muslim. The... Baik, nama saya Maria Sergiana. Saya asalnya dari NTT. Pertanyaan yang saya ajukan, akan tadi sempat menjawab saudara yang non-Muslim tadi. Katanya kalau agama Islam itu kalau keluar Pula, ke pulau lain atau ke daerah lain kan lalu keluar dari agama Islam kan masuk penjara nah yang sekarang yang saya pantau kami dari NTT saudara kami saudara yang dari Jawa yang agama Islam ada yang ke NTT terus apa masuk agama agama apa Nasrani tapi tidak dipenjarakan. Yang sekarang saya tanyakan bagaimana sehingga apa man, saudara yang beragama Islam ke NTT tapi tidak masuk penjara. Dan kalau saudara Islam yang ke pulau lain harus masuk penjara. Uh, sebentar, yang dimaksud di penjara itu apa? Tadi kan saya sempat uh, apa mendengar kalau apa agama Islam keluar ke pulau lain dan keluar dari agamanya sendiri itu harus masuk penjara. Oh tidak, Dokter Zakir tidak pernah mengatakan itu keluar dari pulau keluar ke pulau lain dan kemudian masuk penjara tidak ada. Apa yang saudari tanyakan? Atau ada pertanyaan lain? 
yang lebih terkait dengan saudari yang lebih terkait dengan saudari lebih terkait dengan anda dokter Zakir tidak mengatakan kalau orang Islam keluar pulau dan kemudian keluar dari Islam brother, masuk penjara brother you answering the question you are supposed to translate and tell me no. uh. let me answer uh. why are you answering yes why are you answering I don't understand no 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 irrespective whatever she says irrespective whatever she says even if she says 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 you have to translate it you are a translator not a person to answer the question is not clear the question so, is not clear no no clarification later i will tell that you translate maybe it is clear to me i am a guy your job is to translate verbatim the question is not clear to you because you are not expert in the field of dawa if it is not clear to me i will tell your job is to translate verbatim if she is too fast you tell sister wait two sentence at a time translate two sentence let us say translate two sentence oh, you are deciding it's not clear i am to decide what yes. you do if it i know it's difficult tell a sister two sentence at a time if she is too long you have to tell her be brief again you can ask yes. her because i know she's already spoken about 20 sentences you may translate half and then i not understand yes the so yes. better is you tell sister one sentence you repeat it one sentence repeat it better correct ask her to repeat the question every sentence you translate okay okay ask her to repeat it okay ask her to repeat the question correct right Ask to repeat the question. Uh, silakan mengulangi pertanyaan uh, kalimat sekalimat satu kalimat satu kalimat. Please. Saya akan mengulang pertanyaan. Uh, yang saya tanyakan itu mengapa sehingga hutan <tuh> Allah. <tuh> Bisa saya bantu mungkin dengan bahasa Jangan, jangan, saya, jangan. Ya? Jangan dibantu, Pak. Jangan dibantu. Uh, jangan dibantu. Dia agak kesulitan untuk mengekspresikannya. Gak tapi... apa-apa, gak apa-apa. Jangan, jangan, uh, jangan. Jangan. Mbak, 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 jangan di, jangan diajarin, Mbak, jangan diajarin, biar, biar, langsung aja, langsung, langsung aja, langsung, jangan ada yang ganggu, jangan ada yang ganggu. First, ask her to tell her name, her profession, and then the question in two or three sentences. Ya, langsung, Mbak. Her name, profession, and question in two or three sentences. Nama profesi, nama sudah profesi belum? Sebut nama lagi itu. Nama saya Sergiana, asal dari NTT. Pekerjaan. Pekerjaannya mahasiswa. Mahasiswi. Sudah Pertanyaan saya akan mengulangi pertanyaan saya. Mengapa agama Islam? Mengapa agama Islam kalau ke pulau 
line at the Pula Malaysia. Brother translated, no? Okay. She's already survived again. Stop. If you don't understand Manapa. in English, if she says three sentences, yes. translate. No, no, no. Yeah. Then you forget, then you say what the question is. Translate verbatim without, without writing. Yes, yes. Brother. Why Muslim when go out of the country? Mengapa agama Islam kalau ke pulau ke pulau lain keluar agama itu harus dipenjarakan? Why a Muslim when migrated to other island should be jailed? Terus. Is the translation correct? Yes or no? The translation why should a Muslim when he migrates to any other island should be jailed? No, they are saying. Yes, yes. That is the question? Yes. Sister, that question you can ask the Indonesian government. <laughs> In Islam, you can go to any island, no problem. If the Indonesian government, I, I don't know. I am a traveler. Ask me questions on Islam and comparative religion, not about Indonesia. I don't even know whether your, what you are saying is right or wrong. I know many, Indi many Indonesians going from here to there. I don't know whether there is a law in Indonesia that if you migrate, you get. Is there a law? There is no law. Sister, you are mistaken. There is no law in Indonesia that if you migrate, you get jailed. Do you have any other question? Translate, translate. Ini urusan anda. Itu persoalan pemerintah Indonesia, bukan urusan saya. Saya bukan orang Indonesia. Saya uh, pakar dalam bidang perbandingan agama. Saya tidak mengerti hukumnya di Indonesia seperti apa. Itu urusannya orang Indonesia. Tapi bukan itu inti pertanyaannya tadi. Bisakah saya membantunya mengatakan pertanyaannya lagi? Doctor, may someone help her to express the question correctly? Setelah itu dia menyatakan. Wait, wait, tunggu. Brother, your job is to translate only. Express me, it will change. If expression, how does she know her mind? If you translate correctly, I will help her. Unless you translate it wrong, why should somebody, if she is saying that if a Muslim changes the island and get arrested, what can someone help her to express the question? You have to translate. Correct? What is the question of helping her? Unless you are translating wrong. If you are not translating wrong, give her money. Did you give my answer to her? Give my answer that Indonesia, yeah. according uh, to Indonesian law, a person is not put to jail. Ask her, some, ask her to ask questions on Islam and compile yeah, yeah. the religion. Yes, already. I, I, I taught her. Talk again. Yeah. Sir. yeah. And don't uh, let anyone interfere. Yes. Uh, itu bukan urusan saya tentang bagaimana orang keluar dari sebuah pulau kemudian dipenjarakan. Itu urusannya pemerintah Indonesia. Bidang saya adalah perbandingan agama. If your question is wrong, no, she will say, no, no, I did not say this. If she is not saying that, means she got the answer. She's yeah. not objecting. Correct? That means that was a question. Why is somebody interfering? If you understood a question wrong, she will tell, no brother, I did not say Muslim changing island. She's not saying that means that was a question. Tell her to ask questions on Islam and comparative religion. Tell her. Uh, silakan bertanya tentang Islam dan perbandingan agama. Does she have any, do Bertanya. you have any question, sister? Do you have any question on Islam? Apakah anda punya pertanyaan tentang Islam? Anything you feel that Islam is wrong? Yang kamu rasakan bahwa Islam itu salah? Or anything you feel Islam is good? Atau yang kamu pandang Islam itu adalah baik? Any question on Islam or any other religion, you are most welcome to ask. Pertanyaan apapun tentang Islam atau bahkan agama-agama lain, silahkan ditanyakan. 
saudari kita ini uh, dari tadi kesulitan mengekspresikan pertanyaannya. Sister, why jangan you? sudah selesai. Sister, you are, you tell her not to interfere. Yeah. No. Tell her not to interfere. Mbak, jangan jangan, di, jangan mbak. interupsi, Udah jangan biar diganggu. Aja, biar, biar dia ngerti atau tak ngerti, biar aja jangan diganggu. Ya, yeah, biar biar. She can speak very well. Let her speak. Udah mbak, mbak, biar aja mbak, mbak, mbak mundur aja, mbak mundur aja, jangan diganggu. Biarkan aja, biarkan saja, nggak apa-apa. Repeat what I last said. Repeat what I said. Does you have any question on Islam? Anda punya, you have any question on Islam? Anda punya pertanyaan atau tidak tentang Islam? Tidak lagi. Tidak no lagi. Jazakallah, sister. Thank you very much. Can we have the next question here? Are there any brothers, non-Muslim brothers, who like to ask a question? Any non-Muslim? Any non-Muslim would like to ask a question on Islam and comparative religion? Ada non-Muslim yang mau bertanya tentang Islam dan perbandingan agama. Ke belakang. Four hours. Empat jam. Four belakang. hours. Ya. Yeah. Not to touch. Jangan disentuh. Now it's correct. Ya, yeah, ini sudah benar. Wasting time. Anda membuang-buang waktu. Okay. Are there any ladies who have any questions? Non-Muslim sisters? Ada di antara wanita yang non-Muslim ingin bertanya? Are there any mu'allaf, any rewards? Ada reward mu'allaf yang mau bertanya? Mu'allaf. Mu'allaf perempuan yang mau bertanya. Okay, now we can allow them Muslim insyaAllah. Ya, silakan. Silakan, kalau ada yang mau bertanya, Muslim siapa saja? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I want to ask you about. Uh, sebutkan nama dan profesi. My name is Dewi Nurhayati. I work in a supermarket and store, and I want to ask you about. The non-Muslims' opinion, the non-Muslims' assumption. Uh, I heard this assumption for since a long time, and now is the right time to ask. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, had been politicalized this religion to make Arab nations wealthy. Uh, as we know, the Muslim all around the world uh, save money to go Hajj, to go Umrah, and it makes uh, Arab, the Arab and getting rich. And I don't have any enough education to deny this assumption. This is my question for you. <clears throat> the sister has the question that she has the assumption that we have to go for Hajj and when we go for Hajj the Arab nations become richer so is this correct this is the question is correct sister first let me tell you one thing I don't know of any country in the world like Saudi Arabia, which spends billions of dollars only for maintaining of the Harmain and the Hajj. I don't know, even the Vatican City, the Vatican City, the Pope, they, even when you go there to the church, you have to pay money. Here, mashallah, always, always, the visa for Hajj and the visa for Umrah have always been free, 100%. It is lately a few months back they started that if you want to go multiple times then they will charge you. That also they just started a few months before. The amount of money they spend only to keep one day of Makkah Haram alone open is maybe a million dollar. The amount of money they spend in cleaning, the amount of money they spend on electrician, amount of money they spend on the sound system, the amount of money they spend in the construction. 
they spend billions of dollars sister for you to lay an allegation that because they have Makkah they are making money is 100% wrong sister have you been to Makkah sister have you been to Makkah not yet so how can you lay an allegation that they are making money uh, I heard that assumption from the non-muslim okay just because you heard the assumption you ask them for and proof Allah says in the Quran Kul in kuntum produce your proof but if you are truthful this is totally allegation to malign the muslim faith alhamdulillah the amount of money that saudi arabia spends to maintain the makkah and madina the harmain and the mina etc and arafat for hajj it is phenomenal now recently few months back they started saying that okay if you want to do multiple times Fard is only once. If you want to go again for Hajj, then they will charge you. The first Hajj is free. Same with Umrah. Multiple times if you want to do, then they will charge you a visa fee which is yet comparatively less as compared to the other countries what they charge. So I feel that what service they are doing as a country for the Harmain is a blessing for the Muslim Ummah. So you have to pray for them not speak against them hope the answer the question sister may i have one small question it's but do you agree what you have done is wrong i agree but yes i, I don't have enough education to deny them to deny them what to deny their their assumption but now now you know correct now okay. i know very good sister may so i next have one small more questions sister for second second question go behind the queue Okay. There are many sisters waiting. Go behind the queue and if your time comes, we'll give you inshallah. Can we have the next question here? If there are any non-Muslims or reward, they should be given the first chance. They can break the queue. If they are not, then we allow a Muslim. Can you translate that please? Yeah, silakan non-Muslim. Kalau ada, diberikan prioritas.